Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 30th, 2021. Well, the last day of September, and we slide into October with a lot of uncertainty in this market as we continue to gyrate around trying to figure out what all of these things might mean. Today we have quite a few um, data points that we're going to have to get through um, and a lot of um, uncertainty that could clear up or create some additional problems for us in the market. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink, let's settle in, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. So first off, um, yesterday we did have a nice little relief rally, but unfortunately it just didn't resolve any issues or problems. Notice here in this candle, we pushed up pretty nicely. We came up into that resistance level in the chart. And then by the end of the day, those uh, doggone bears just keep fighting back here, um, pushing us back down. So we really didn't resolve anything in the Dow yesterday. We still have the worry of this downtrend and by the way that kind of extends right through there we still have the worry of this downtrend um, in the charts we still have the resistance levels um, in these charts that continue to be problematic for us um, and we have kind of a key resistance level in that chart. So kind of keep in mind guys that when we run in a pattern like this, that remember any rally back up, although we are trying to hold a higher low, any rally back up has to be questioned really carefully as we run into these resistance levels because that's where we could see those bears step up and defend. So keep a close eye on that. And like I mentioned yesterday, there really is nothing that um, can improve that situation until we break that downtrend, prove to hold it as support, and then see those buyers stepping up in here. This is a high risk situ situation. And one of the things that we often forget as traders, um, we wake up in the morning, we shower, we take get dressed. Well, maybe you do, I don't know. And then, um, we sit down in front of the uh, computer and think that we must trade today. Remember guys, if you don't feel like you have an edge in the market, if you feel that the volatility of this price action in here is just too intense, then one of your responsibilities as the CEO of your trading business is to say, there's too much risk, stand aside and protect your capital. So please remember guys that cash is a position. If you don't feel you have an edge in this wild volatility, stand aside protect yourself. Wait until it settles down because trust me, the market will be here tomorrow, the next day, and the day after that. And you can potentially wait for some better setups um, in the market. So watch that closely. Then let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. Now SPY tried yesterday as well to push up. We um, eventually ended up settling back lower. We didn't make a lower low here on the SPY. So we are trying to hold this price support right in here. But let's notice that we did nothing to repair our downtrend. Um, we did nothing to break through resistance levels here in the upside of that move. Um, so once again, we have that circumstance where we could rally right into these resistance levels and see those bears attack once again for that downside move. Or we're going to need to see that us break above here, hold some support, and then we can resume an uptrend in the market. So a lot of questions still need to be answered here. And um, right now I gotta tell you, I have to stay on the bearish side of this market, like it or not. 
Um, until we can break that downtrend, I have to be watching as we rally toward resistance for that potential failure. And let's keep in mind, guys, that we are still underneath our 50-day moving average and our shorter term averages are crossing down through that 50. Even if we can rally back up there, we're setting up a pretty strong resistance of, of uh, technical resistance here in the chart. Doesn't mean we can't pop right on through it. We've done that before, just that we need to be recognizing that fact. We also in this chart, as I've mentioned before, we have that nasty little head and shoulders top pattern setting up in that chart or that has set up in that chart and that could be uh, playing a factor as well. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Now our QQQ struggled a bit more yesterday. We tried to rally. We, we tried to say nothing is a problem here. Um, let's keep buying and, and buying. But eventually, that those sellers came back in and pushed us down, and I'll go to a chart to show you why that probably is. And we ended up creating a lower low yesterday in the NASDAQ by the close. Notice we're continuing to run in this downtrend. We're still below our 50-day moving average in the chart, and our shorter-term averages are starting to cross down through. So we don't have a, a comfortable pattern here in the chart just yet. And let's keep in mind that if we were to fail through this level and continue to fail, I need to redraw that, but continue to fail through this price level right in here, if we break that area as support, then um, notice down in here, there really is not much support in this chart until we move quite a bit lower. So keep that in mind. This is kind of a critical area for the bulls to defend. If they can't defend that, if the bears push through that, we could have a problem. And one of the major reasons we're struggling here um, with this is these pesky bonds. Notice yesterday, um, those bonds, we started off the day lower, but there was still buying going on in bonds. And we have a kind of a risk off um, attitude starting to show up in these bonds. And if they continue to strengthen, that will continue to be a problem, uh, particularly for the NASDAQ but also other indexes as well. So watch that closely. If bonds continue to rally, fear of inflation, fear of downturn in the market, all of those things, starting to press these uh, these higher. And then um, also TYX, which is the 30-year bond, also rallying, bouncing off of yesterday's lows, pushing on higher. Um, so that's becoming problematic um, for the QQQ and could continue to apply pressure. So keep Keep an eye on that. And then IWM, I mentioned yesterday, IWM would be subject to what would happen in that oil sector uh, number yesterday. And unfortunately, that um, oil number came in with a surprise build in supplies. Um, that surprise build could be pointing to a, a problem here for our economy that inflation is having a dramatic impact. Folks are finding themselves being constrained by um, energy prices and by food prices. And so consequently, they're not going out and spending, they're not doing as much, and we're getting this contraction um, in the oil demand. So watch that carefully um, in the chart. We are still trying to hold right around our 50-day moving average here in IWM, but we still have that downtrend. We have a year's worth of price resistance above. There's really nothing about this chart that I could really say um, is particularly bullish. Um, we still have those challenges and, and especially if other indexes continue to slide. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now that VIX tried to push back yesterday um, it, uh, as we rallied early in the day. And here again, we're trying to pump it up first thing this morning. It seems like every, every single day is just a pump up. Um, watch for the pop and drop, um, as a matter of fact, uh, to con uh, continue to happen as long as people chase in at the uh, morning open. So keep an eye on this. Um, we did push back a little bit yesterday, and we may push this back down a bit this morning. But notice we're really not giving up much in fear. 
fear continues to remain a bit strong here. And if we were to hold this area up here as a higher low and bounce off of that, that could be a real problem for us. That's where real selling could come into the market. So watch that closely. We need to see that fear starting to pull back. And unfortunately, we have a lot of data today and it's hard to know what that data is going to say and if that will improve fear or hurt it. Um, and we'll talk about that here in just a second. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And you guys know, I um, this is a very important indicator to me because it tells me when we've reached oversold or overbought conditions. And unfortunately, in the sell off the other day, we didn't quite make it down here into that oversold condition. So, although we got a re relief rally, it really didn't play out all that well yesterday um, in the market. We did get that bounce back up. But let's take a look here with all the data coming today. If we can find some inspiration in that data, we could certainly see um, we've opened up a big upside opportunity here um, if we can get good positive data. If that data happens to disappoint, however, and those bears decide to attack again, we still have a considerable downside opportunity here in the market as well. So kind of keep that in mind. Remember, T21 to 22 doesn't tell us direction. It just tells us where those pressure points um, are in the market. You can see how that might lay out today. Let's take a look at our T2107. Now we did have seen an improvement here in T2107. I think that is important. Um, this is the percentage of stocks that are below the 200 day moving average. And this has been a problem for the market. This has been weighing heavily with just kind of that big old boat anchor that we're trying to drag around here and lift up off the bottom of the ocean. And notice here in this um, recent rally we've picked up off of those lows and we're up here testing that downtrend as resistance. Now what we need to see is we need to see that bullishness push on through this downtrend and hold it and then get us moving back to the upside because if we can get these stocks that are below the 200 starting to lift back up that would certainly help the indexes quite a bit so watch that closely now we are trying to hold on to a little bit of price support here as well so watch that carefully if if we were to um, get some bad data however we could easily see this continue to sink and that could put more pressure downside pressure on the market our T2101, our market breadth, um, obviously yesterday we didn't really see a lot of market breadth um, in the market. We tried to rally in the pre-market, another pop and drop um, ended up being the result of the day. So uh, kind of some weakness here in market breadth. We're, when we start that upside move, we're not getting tremendous energy in them. So be kind of careful. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for, for today. And what I've been talking about here this morning is we have a couple of big reports that can move us quite a bit. First off, we're going to hear from the GDP now. Consensus estimates are suggesting that the GDP will increase here to like 6.8 percent. Um, watch that closely. If that number comes in f uh, far above that, that could show, um, could also, well, it could trigger that fear that the market is overheating. Um, and we'll want to watch that carefully. If it comes in below estimates, that could also have some ramifications here for our market. So watch that carefully. And then these pesky jobless claims. We continue to get consensus estimates that say, oh, they're going to decline, they're going to decline, they're going to decline. And sometimes we do get a modest decline, but unfortunately, um, the last couple of times, they say, oh, we're going to decline, and they have actually increased. And last time, we ignored that increase. So keep an eye on this. They just continue to be a little bit on the nasty side here. So watch that closely um, as those two reports come out. 
Um, that could set the tone for the morning. Um, we also have Chicago PMI. We have a natural gas report. And later on in the day, we have that Fed balance sheet, which you know is approaching eight and a half trillion, but nobody really cares. And then we have uh, just a parade of Fed speakers here again today. Um, also keep in mind, we've got those personal incomes and outlays, PMI, ISM, construction spending and consumer sentiment tomorrow as you are kind of planning forward um, for the day. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now on the earnings calendar side of things, we have our biggest day today of uh, potential reports. Um, 16 companies listed. Unfortunately, uh, a good number of those are not confirmed reports. So of the notables today, I only have a few. Take a look at BBBY. BBBY will be reporting today. It looks like at the moment, it's looking just a little bit lower in the pre-market it's been running in a downtrend this has been kind of a meme stock favorite here so keep a close eye on that it certainly could be pushed around quite a bit then we're going to have ANGO ANGO will be reporting today we'll also hear from Jeffries um, financial today so keep an eye on that financials have been trying to get some things going but struggling a bit so keep an eye on that um, MKC McCormick a good old defensive sector stock will be reporting today looks like we got quite a little volatility in it still running in a downtrend uh, certainly not in a buy pattern at least for me um, on that chart and then PAYX um, is another one um, reporting today we've got a bit of a problem here in this chart as you can see got a little shoulder big old head another shoulder over here and we're starting to break that to the downside so watch that carefully here in payx let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video make sure you click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment if you believe these videos are worthy if they help you planning your day please leave that that uh, those comments because it's that engagement with the videos that make the difference and continue the channel growing thank you so much to everyone who does do that and I also want to just a huge shout out to those folks who continue to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video you guys are awesome also you could help me out a lot by just clicking that share button share button and sharing these videos out on your social media feed helping us reach more folks thank you so much to everyone who does do that Let's take a look at some stocks that eh, have some potential here, might be setting up, but I got to tell you guys, there's still a lot of risk in this market. As I was saying before, if you don't feel like you have an edge, it may be a good idea to stand aside, um, protect that capital. You do not have to trade in a, in a market that you don't feel you have an edge. Let's take a look at a couple of charts here, though. Um, um, Take a look at LUMN. Now, LUMN happens to be a position that I'm holding, so I have a bias on this. Um, so kind of keep that in mind as you look over this chart. LUMN I bought as a stock position, and I bought it with it because I have this nice little um, rising pattern in here, and it's still holding up pretty well. It's kind of ignoring all of the volatility in the market. And you can see this has a really nice dividend yield. So I'm buying this more on the investment side of things just to hold it. It's one of those safety plays that I can pick up a little bit of yield, pick up a little bit of upside here in that chart. And that's still looking good. And I think as this moves or consolidates out here toward this trend, it could set up that next opportunity for an entry. So keep an eye in that. on that. Um, could be... Um, a, a nice chart to be uh, looking toward. Let's take a look at some of these energy stocks. Um, 
XLE has held up pretty strongly and although that number came in yesterday on that energy sector as a little bit of a problem with a surprise build we didn't really pull back much in XLE and as I remember as I said yesterday what we need is a little bit of rest in these if we take a look at like Exxon Mobil still holding up very well but let's see if we can get some kind of a rest or pullback if we can hold some price supports in here just consolidate or rest in here and then look for that next opportunity in some of these oil sector stocks now there's an awful lot of news going on over there in Europe where um, they are really struggling with um, energy and there's also an energy crunch going on in China so keep a close eye on this it's possible that this doesn't give up at all and just really um, moves hard to the upside you might want to be keeping an eye um, also I, now this I do kind of hesitate sometimes in, in letting um, folks know positions I hold because I don't want to influence anyone on these but take a look at natural gas natural gas is up about hundred and eighty percent so far this year it's a phenomenal rally here now this is partially well not partially this has a lot to do with current administration um, regulations rules and things like that pushing this up but watch this closely we have um, a, a potential buy signal that could be coming in here this morning on UNG now I would say honestly I think UNG is overextended and I'm holding this as a long-term hold um, so I'm I'm up huge on this trade but watch this in here if, if we're going to set a steeper trend in this area we could certainly see UNG continue to move on higher so keep a close eye on that natural gas seems to be pretty darn strong here and with all of the issues that we're seeing in other places in the world no reason to believe why we can't keep moving up here on UNG guys if you're looking for something as a potential short take a look at apple now apple has rallied back right into its downtrend in the chart now what i need to see is i need to see a little bit of a failure occur on this notice we got a little bit of a a, a, a pop and drop um, so far this morning on this and we've got futures trying to push us up but keep an eye on this if this were to put in a failure something like a bearish engulfing or something like that um, I would be looking for the possibility that that Apple could break this support um, watch that closely um, there's been a lot of talk about you know the super cycle of, of a replacement of phones and things like that but I gotta tell you there's also been an awful lot of talk that their new product release um, kind of met with a ho-hum um, attitude that it just wasn't enough to really inspire a lot of buying. And if we're going to continue to see inflation pressing folks in their food and energy costs, um, as Jerome Powell seemed to suggest, spending on items like um, and new cell phones might be one of the last things on that consumers list so watch that closely there could be some potential shorts coming in some of these big techs watch those pretty closely take a look at a stock like QS now QS is an interesting pattern here QS um, um, highly speculative stock but take a look how we've developed this bottom we're breaking this downtrend here in the chart and we've pushed up and we're holding above a price support here in this area now looking at this chart we are in what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern um, hit run candlesticks and right way options now the rounded bottom breakout pattern is when that price is well below its 200 day moving average okay we have pushed this down pretty excessively and then that price starts to move up and we see those moving averages in here beginning to round up through that 50 day moving average price cost crosses above and then we look for that resting pullback in here that hold 
and then we can maybe see that opportunity to the upside. So keep a close eye on QS. I think it could be setting up here for a, an upside move. And by the way, the upside target on this, first off, we, we know we've got some price resistance in here that we have to deal with, but the upside target in this ultimately would be back up here toward that 200 day moving average. So watch that closely. This is just one of those bounce back rallies that may have some potential. This thing is sold off really hard, may have some up upside in that chart. Another one that's kind of doing that, you might want to take a look at um, ACB. Now, cannabis is, you know, it depends on whether you, you know, like the whole cannabis area or not. It's been really, really struggling here. But one of the things we saw here just recently is ACB spiking up a little bit. Now, I don't think this is ready for prime time yet because we still have this major resistance here in the chart. So ACB could consolidate underneath that level and then pop through. We could go ahead and just pop on through and then hold up here and set up that opportunity in that chart. And by the way, that would be a round of bottom breakout. So if we were to pop through up here, hold we've got that rounded bottom breakout pattern could be setting up in a chart like that so watch that carefully so with that everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day um, be safe be careful out there um i tell you um it's it's a it's an uncertain market and we've got a lot of data coming today so just Take a breath, stand aside, make sure that you have an edge before getting into this market. I wish you all of the best, and we'll talk to you bright and early tomorrow.